Hi, I'm Kelly Smith with Design Asylum Blog and creator of Velvet Finishes Paint. Today's video, we're going to cover the basics of painting wood furniture with Velvet Finishes Paint. You will not be disappointed. Don't go away. Thanks so much for sticking around. In today's video, we're going to learn how to paint wood furniture with velvet finishes. And it is so easy, you're going to want to come through that screen and kiss me by the time I show you this. I promise. No sanding. Now, I want to show you the first ingredient, the key piece to make velvet finishes really work and stick to furniture very well. It's a product that we have called Ready. It's a deglosser and a cleaner. And it's so easy to use. All you got to do is just spray it on. Spray, spray, spray. Give it just a few seconds and start wiping it down. And what this does is it cleans, it deglosses, it gets years of buildup of wax. You know, if you're painting an old piece of furniture, you really never know what's been done to it. Maybe it's had orange oil put on it every day for its entire life or, you know, who knows? It's been waxed. That's a real deterrent for paint to stick. So by using the Ready product, we get it good and ready. And that also eliminates sanding. Raise your hand if you hate sanding, because there's three things about painting furniture that I hate, and it's sanding. So Ready gets it all prepared. See, it's gross, disgusting. As you can see, the finish of the piece has been dulled greatly by using the Ready. So now we are prepared to begin painting, all right. Now, I chose color Timeless. This is our darkest gray that's in the line. It's really, really pretty. It's very elegant, and it looks great distressed or glazed. So all you got to do, shake it up really well. Make sure all these ingredients can get your work out. Work those biceps. It all comes with a good seal so that when we ship it to you, it doesn't go all over your box. Just pop your little seal off and you're gonna be good to go. Now we took all the drawers out as well as the hardware and I wanna mention something about hardware here. The, this particular piece has hardware that has a flat back on it. Now Velvet Finishes is great for painting hardware. So if you ever, and you're gonna learn this as you hang out with me, that I'm extremely lazy. I work really hard, but I like things to be quick, easy. I don't wanna mess around with everything. So if there's a piece of hardware that has a flat back on it, you can paint right over it with, with a Velvet Finishes paint, and you can also go right over it with Ready to get a good surface to start on. So even though this piece did have the flat back, I'm not gonna paint these particular pieces of hardware, but that's just something to put in your little arsenal of let's make something happen fast, right? So when you paint, it's important to load up your brush. Do not be afraid. You are in control. On it, paint it, let's get this done. So load up your brush pretty thick with paint. If you have only a little bit, it actually makes it harder. So the more paint you have on your brush, don't have it dripping, don't go crazy, but load it up. Now, always start with what's gonna be in your way. You know what I'm saying? You wanna make sure that you do it in order. Think about your piece. I usually start at the bottom and work my way over. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're gonna get going here. Super easy. And when I say slap it on, that is absolutely what I mean, slap it on. With velvet finishes, we are not really concerned with brush strokes. You got a little ding in your furniture and you're not willing to spend the time fixing it. Dab that paint in there. Just slap it on. 
Don't worry about the coat being thin or thick. If it's thicker, it's gonna take it a little bit longer to dry. That makes sense. But if you put it on really, really thin, you may end up having to do more coats than you want. If you can get it on in a decent amount, a little, little bit thicker, you won't have to do many coats. We really, really strive for a two coat paint job. Look, look what I just did. I went the opposite way. It's unheard of. But you can do it with velvet finishes. Just get it on there. Don't worry about the brush strokes and be done. See, did you notice that's already starting to drag off? This paint dries super, super fast, which is wonderful. When we do paint classes, we actually do two coats of paint and a glaze or a gel also distress and have people out the door in like two and a half hours. So, all right, one side down. It's only been just a couple minutes and I almost have the entire hull of this piece painted. Now if you wanted to distress or glaze your piece, which we have glazes and gels, which the gels replace wax in the Velvet Finishes line, this piece has a perfect place to do that because of this great architectural detail. And one thing that you may want to think about when you're painting is if you know that you're going to glaze, you really don't have to have a perfect paint job because that's really what makes it interesting. You know, you have different depths and layers that's glazed over, so it's really not that big of a deal to have just this perfect, perfect coat. And if you're going to distress it, it's almost better not to. And sometimes if you've got a piece that's in good enough condition, it's really nice to either just let the natural wood be on the outside of the piece and only paint the drawers or vice versa. I think that looks really nice too. All right, we're almost done here. When this piece dries, what you wanna do is two things. First of all, wipe off the container lid or the container top before you put your lid on so that it doesn't stick. And secondly, so that you don't have to rinse out your brush, you can leave the paint on it, put it in a Ziploc bag, but make sure that there's a decent amount of paint on it. You don't wanna just get it really, really dry to put it in your Ziploc bag, because if you do, it can start drying out. This is just a good trick, saves paint, saves time. Just kinda of smush the bag on it, and then you can just give it, and actually it'll stay like this for a couple of days if there's enough paint on it. And you can also stick it in the refrigerator and that kind of extends the life on it. So, okay, I'm gonna go work on those drawers. Okay, what do you think? Our piece is dry, our drawers are back in, and our hardware is back on. Two coats of the timeless color has made this tired, sad looking chest an amazing piece. Be sure to check out the Velvet Finishes website. All of our social media links are there. You can pin with us, you can tweet, you can stalk us on Facebook. Let Velvet Finishes color your world with all our fabulous paint and be sure to send in your before and after pictures. We love to see your masterpieces. Oh God. Are you gonna do it again? No. Good gosh. Well, as you can see, I am already enjoying oh my, my lovely chair. Your hair looks awful. She's so mean. Quiet on the set. Oh my God. Product reveal, take one. <laughs> so what do you think of our wet distressing technique that we've done here? Oh my God. Get over here. I got you. Hurry up. Here. Before you start, you <laughs> okay. There's a couple places that I'm gonna add a little bit more gel to. This won't take but a second and our chair is going to be. Oh what? my God, oh my God, that's my Nutella. <laughs> I can't even follow that.
I got nothing. Sure I can. <laughs> I have to get naked. <laughs> Crew star and take pity. Steps to this piece were super easy. All I did was paint it first, and I'm then I had the lunch order. What would you like? Hurry up! We don't have all day. Oh my gosh. Oh, veggie burger. I know veggie burger, extra fries, mayonnaise, hot sauce, and sweet tea. Thank you. <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> That's not nice. That is not nice at all. In <laughs>